Let's welcome Kathy Holly and Spotlight. Everybody, I'm so happy to be back and I have to tell you I do have a cold tonight I hope it doesn't interrupt my interviews I have wonderful guests tonight and I'm wearing my glasses for the first time do you like them everybody yeah kind of fun try them on I mean why not and on my left I have Mr. Shoto Asabi great musician pianist and also plays uh, steel guitar over on my right Mr. Bert Dahl singer entertainer and we have worked together for many years many. over the years now well I thought I would start first of all with Shota mm. hmm? Shota over here Shota there we go Shota where are you from originally from Tokyo Japan Tokyo Japan mm. when did you come over here uh, 1968 really yes. during the height of the uh, hippie right yeah hippie movement and kind of end of the hippie era. Yes, 60s. but and of course I know a lot about you already that you don't play uh, just folk music and all of that. Mm, but, no. But I mean you came over here, where did you work in here in the I Bay Area? I was hired uh, for Japanese restaurant. Which one? For Bush Garden. Bush Garden. San Francisco, downtown. Yes, yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Was it a piano bar? Piano bar. So you would have singers come in? And right. And yodel and away? They're sitting around the piano and I have to accompany the, How the, the wonderful. Sing. They that would have been come so up much and fun. Sing. Sorry I never got there. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you've done a lot of traveling to working and even working in the States and mm -hmm. then going back to Japan. Yeah. Now, right. where did you, when did you start your training? That's what I want to know, on the mm, piano. When I was five years old. Five years. Yes. You knew you had the talent. Mm, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, when I became teenager, uh -huh. I start listening, like when you play the record, yes. bass player playing this note, piano player playing this note. I start hearing separately, kind of. So I write down to the music. So oh. yeah, I'm going to school. And okay, so you did I have some formal yes. training yes. too in yeah. Japan. Well, tell us when you came over, it was in the 60s, and I know you've worked with some famous, famous people. Uh, well, who yes, did you, you work with in, in Korea when we ran into each other? <laughs> yes. I was with the Kenny Rogers at that time. Oh, yeah, right. so interesting. <laughs> and that's the country, of course. We bumped in, in yeah, Seoul. We bumped into <laughs> each other in Seoul, Seoul, Korea, in the Lotte Hotel. It is, we were right. walking well. down the hall. <laughs> oh, my gosh, there she is. Oh. So that was Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. And then who else have you worked with? Because there's... Uh, you know, Liza Minnelli and uh, famous people. Right. And who else? And her sister, Lorna Loft. Lorna. Loft. Great. And, and when uh, these shows that they did? Right. Yeah. Uh, one was fashion show with Liza Minnelli. And the other one is, remember Post Leo restaurant? Yes. In Post, Post Leo. Leo. The oh. opening oh, night. Oh, yes. Yeah. Famous, yeah. famous. Her sister came. And then you've worked with some other local jazz singers mm -hmm. who were quite mm -hmm. well known. Yes, For instance, like Margie Baker. Margie Baker. Pat Yankee. Pat Yankee, right. who's really a legend. Right in mm -hmm. our own time. Right. Kathy She's Holly. Kathy Holly, myself. <laughs> myself. I'm a legend. No, yeah, I'm not yeah. a legend yet. <laughs> not yet. But Pat truly is because she, she works is. at Nick's, you know, sometimes right, right. Rockaway, and uh, it's amazing. And you she's know, been she's singing at Sacramento Jazz Jubilee. Sacramento. Have you yeah, worked up there yes, for many yes, of those? Few, the few Jazz time. Jubilee? Yes, That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And you now, I know you spend a lot of time mm -hmm. with we singers recording working on charts, mm -hmm. right, in the Bay Area. Right. So for you out there in television land, if you needed a wonderful accompanist or wanted a musician mm -hmm. to work on a chart for you, a chart means a piece of music that you want to sing, maybe it's not in your key, so you pick up the phone and call Shoda. Now, mm -hmm. how do you get in touch with Shoda? <laughs> well, it's a secret. You have to go through me, right. because Shoda, you don't have a website. <laughs> I'm amazed. You might. You could be my agent. I think I'm your agent. Yeah, That's 20, it. 20%. 30 percent. 30 percent. I got it. 30 percent. <laughs> I think I'll do the job. Okay. But I know you work a lot, <laughs> and of course, it's it's easy to track you down because <laughs> I know how to get a hold of you. But right now, uh, you have an album that 
believe it or not, I haven't heard. It's called Happy Coat. Happy Coat. And we have a, a we have it here at the studio. Yes, I brought. I it thought, today. can we play a sample of your CD? Yes. It's called that. Wait, let me hold it. Oh, look, it's okay. Fabulous. I, I really, if we had a studio audience here, we'd all be applauding. <laughs> that's Thank great. And that's from Thank Happy you. Coat, everybody. Now, that album can be purchased on Amazon, yes. right? C <laughs> CD iTunes. Ba iTunes, yes. CD oh. Baby. Mm -hmm. yes. Great. And I want to tell people, the musicians on this, it's your trio. I love the Happy Coat title because these are Happy it Coats. Is. And in Japan, mm -hmm. A happy coat is like a robe? Uh, yes. Not, they don't wear anymore. They Old don't. Like Edo era, mm -hmm. which is about 100 years ago. Oh, really? A uh, fireman's uniform. Oh, so, it was right, a fireman's so, uniform? Yes, yes. How did they fight fires with this? <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> happy coats. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, some of the people, well, there's your trio. Ray Brown is on drums. Uh, no, bass, on bass. bass. Now, Ray Brown worked with some greats, right? Yes. He married to Ella Fitzgerald one. Oh my gosh, he's a heavyweight. Oscar Peterson. Oh, fabulous. And you recorded this when? 2002. And then he passed away after uh, that? After five months. Oh, wow. And then so the other musician on this is Harold Jones, Harold Jones on drums. He's with uh, Tony Bennett now. Oh, yeah. he's with Tony yes. Bennett touring? Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah, he's great. Mm -hmm. And you worked with Harold Jones Orchestra here yes, in the Bay yes, Area. Right, yes. Every so often, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Every so often. That is truly, this is so interesting. Mm -hmm. So now that you do mainly accompanying singers mm -hmm. and doing charts, mm -hmm. it just so happens that Bert and I know all about that because we recorded, well, I've recorded most of my album actually in your studio and you added a lot of sweeteners. Mm -hmm. And Bert has been recording you know something too but we thought maybe it might be fun let's now i'm going to switch the interview over here to bert everybody Good. because bert we haven't talked yet everybody take a look at mr bert doll and i know the camera mm -hmm. will switch over in just a moment mr bert doll and now all three of us are on okay bert and i have worked together through the years yes quite a few years uh, now bert where are you from originally born in kansas and he came to California in 1950. Unbelievable. The promised land. Now, you don't have an accent like you're from Kansas anymore. Uh, I kind of <laughs> added it by going to Australia, Austria, Germany, France, Italy. <laughs> Which means you are a troubadour for I sure. Am. I claim to be. Yeah, you are a troubadour. And troubadour means to everybody out there. So they, what is a troubadour? Well, it is kind of a uh, modern day minstrel, uh, a person that travels 
playing music and learning languages and uh, doing uh, songs and things that, that people relate to around the world. And you and I have recorded many of them. Uh, yes. Fa fa songs from France or Italy and Germany. Everyone knows it, everyone loves it, we do it. But tell me the story you used to sing in Europe on street corners. Uh, in France, yeah, that was a good way of making money in the 1960s. I was in between the beat er era and the uh, hippie era. So I was doing my own thing over in France and Greece and playing in street cafes to keep alive. To keep alive? <laughs> and you actually made enough money? Uh, oh yeah, France is good. <laughs> if you want to make money in street cafes, still. Uh -huh. Still? Oh, you see them all over there, all over every cafe, every subway, every metro, wow. and Italy too, oh, out in the streets. Wow. Amazing. Music lives oh, in Europe. Great. And I know you play an instrument. To Guitar and piano. Guitar and piano. And too, ukulele. Too. I'm almost, almost as good as I was in 1950 on the ukulele. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> great. I know there's a lot of ukulele groups around the uh, Yeah, area. we're in one over in Marin. That's mm -hmm. great. And it, and it gets your chops up because I have a little ukulele. A Martin, I know. But I started on one years ago. Unfortunately, it's so tiny. I don't think I can compete with the bigger ukes now. Mm, You've got some really sound. ukuleles. Martin, so, I think. so your career took you busking and doing all that through Europe. And then when did you come back to the States? Well, m m after about uh, 1966, I came back and I met uh, the owner of a Chuck Steakhouse in San Mateo in Italy. Yes. He prom promised me a job doing something when I got back, if I came up here. Mm. And lo and behold, I came back and got a job. And I met a couple of uh, guys that still play music, the County Lion Trio, Bud, Ol Bud Olson and Todd Brenlin. Yes, they we formed a loose knit count. trio like them, and then I went up to Lake Tahoe to work up there, and they took that group and got another uh, member, and they became a living uh, copy of the Kingston Trio. Yes, and we've had them here. They play here locally. They play from here at um, yeah Mildred Owens. Mildred Owens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A week from Saturday. Yeah, they're, they're working. At, I know. I've been to see they're them great. there. Oh, yeah. They're great. They're doing For all of you who haven't seen the County Line Trio, please excuse me. I have to blow my nose. So let's focus mm. on you for a minute. Mm -hmm. That but, would be uh, on yes. yeah Saturday. Uh, a week from Saturday, wow. and they play the Kingston Trio just like they did 50 years ago. It is amazing. They sound yeah. just like the Kings uh, Trio. Everybody, you have guitars and banjos, folk music. Yeah, and they do, and they have funny uh, patter yeah. to mm -hmm. a couple of Canadians jokes and everything. Really so you ended up forming something with the, you know, three of you, right? Yes. Some mm -hmm. members of that, <coughs> and then <coughs> what happened after that? Well, I went back to Europe and uh, worked again there in different places in Austria, where my relatives live. I know. I and uh, we met some of them uh, later on. You yes. and I. And uh, then I came back, and uh, then I uh, wound up living, after playing the Southwest, mostly guitar at that time, uh, I came back here to, on the 4th of July in 1977. And about a month later, I met this lady named Kathy Holly. Oh my gosh, that's me. We heard of you in Durango, Colorado, yes. at the Holiday Inn many years. <laughs> I played there in the 74, 75, and they talked about Kathy Holly, you gotta meet her. And I came back and looked you up. Isn't and by funny? chance, you broke up with your group, Yes. We formed a duo. That's right. Started playing in local cafes and restaurants all over the Bay Area. Uh, Senior Pepe's, you know, Trader Vic's old place, our Trader first Vic's, job. That's right. The strolling <laughs> we used to stroll. And uh, those, those, <laughs> those, those of you don't know out there, too. And I worked as a solo performer before that yeah. throughout the Midwest. And that's how we heard about each other. Mm -hmm. I was playing guitar and singing in cocktail lounges from Holiday mm -hmm. Inns to Ramada Inns mm -hmm. to who knows what. Mm -hmm. And you had heard about me, and I, you know, it is amazing. And then we teamed up, and our repertoires were alike. Yeah, we, we had a lot of the each same. Yeah. Taste for international. Primarily, we did international, in about ten different languages. Uh, we do oh, Spanish and German, I say eight, Russian, you Greek, say and uh, well, got <laughs> well, a couple here. <laughs> we're not exaggerating, everybody out there. We really do just about. At least we do one song in most every. Yeah, language. and a lot of Spanish and German and uh, yeah, we have a Italian. Multitude. And French. And Italian. And, and Italian. English. So, yeah, <laughs> English. And now fast forward to what we're doing right now. You are doing a lot of entertaining in residence. residence Mostly, yes, in, uh, in health care uh, facilities here in the Bay Area, uh, retirement homes and any different shows that we can do as a duo still or a right. group. But primarily <laughs> I'm uh, doing about 12 a month uh, local health uh, uh, facilities here. <laughs> and. Uh, 
keeping busy all the time. Do and you find that rewarding to It is. To you have a great group of appreciative people. Mm -hmm. They really I think so love too. what you do and a captive audience, so to speak. A captive audience. And they do relate to music. For our they, type of repertoire, especially. Right. Uh -huh. because, and yeah. if they have memory problems, they'll remember songs from the 1920s, 1930s. That part of the brain, I understand, even if you have Alzheimer's, does not, um, you know, it does not prevent you from remembering lyrics because lyrics are in another part of the brain Definitely, that yeah. isn't affected uh -huh. by it. So it's what it's amazing. Yes, you can sing a song and people may know those lyrics. Yeah. Well, we know we have to give the audience a little sample. Oh, I want to talk about this before we give it sample. Here's the most recent CD called Troubadour Origins and Journeys, Birth open, Doll. Open the flap if you want. I want everybody to see this now. Again, how do you get a hold of this after you hear a sample of it? You'll have to go through Kathy Holly yours truly just call me write me go to my website and say i want to get bert doll cd troubadour and then but maybe soon to be published you never know may i say something about that yes right now i uh, created this uh, music of songs i always wanted to do uh, about 25 and some medleys in there with shota uh, he did everything on it musically and all the engineering and recording mastering and so forth and all the music i've always always wanted to do and uh, put it on there for mostly my family. Starting with uh, 1900 in Austria, my mother's uh, migration to Kansas to work for my father, take uh -huh. care of his motherless children. So we got on there for up to the present day. So I've done about tw 25 songs through the entire century and uh, things that I've always wanted to do. Well, and I must tell the audience, so there's two sides to this CD. There's the Troubadour Origins, which right, would be your, be dedicated European, to your family the, uh, and the beginning. European side. And there's photos too in the wonderful cover here. And then the other side of the CD is called Troubadour Journeys. And that really incorporates some other background singers. All of the travels mostly from there on, from Hawaii uh, to Australia to Europe. Uh, all the things that we've uh, done, which will be on a forthcoming DVD, which I'm work working fantastic. on right now. Oh. And that will accompany that, and that's why I can't release anything right now on that. So I hope right. to get it later uh, published and all uh, recorded and possibly for sale if people want a copy of it. Well, that would be wonderful because then the studio audience won't bother me. And they'll have to go through you to buy something. Knock, knock on all her right. door anyway. So <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and let's play an excerpt from the, the Troubadour CD. And this one set it up for me, Wider Shade of Pale. It's on this CD. Carol Lukenbach is the uh, singer on this. We skipped a line of fandango. Turned cartwheels across the floor I was feeling kind of seasick The crowd called out for more The room was humming hard As the ceiling flew When we call out for another drink, the waiter brought a tray. And so it was that later, as the miller told his tale, that her face at first just Wow, very lovely, Thank wider you. shade of pale. <coughs> and and of course, all that is Shota, of course. Of, of course, but the list goes on. This uh, CD, double CD, is really great. Four Winds and the Seven Seas on one side here. I'm just going through a, a German, Du Du Lixt, Miriam Herzen. Yes, 
Let, oh, Mamzelle, Johnny Guitar, Carrie Me Mucho, Heartaches by the Number. It's just all wonderful. And on this side, of course, we go into Troubadour Journeys, Please Here D'Amour. Oh, my goodness, where have all the flowers gone? Oh, in German. That's fantastic. I will wait for you and on and on. Excuse me, I'm studio sure. audience, I really do have a cold. <laughs> I think I should do that song from. <laughs> it happens to everybody. <laughs> a poison develops a cold. All right, now. We were planning to do something live for you, which I think we will go ahead and do. Shoda is going to play the piano, okay. and we're going to do, an, okay, Bert and I are going to join you. You're going to go on that side, I'll go on this, and we're going to sing what is called the French song, Quand le Soleil, in French. Quand le soleil dit bonjour aux montagnes Et que la nuit rapporte le jour Je suis seul avec mes rêves sur la montagne Une voix me rappelle toujours Du vent rappelle le souvenir de toi. Quand le soleil dit bonjour aux montagnes, je suis seul, je ne peux penser qu'à toi. When the sun says good day. To the mountains, and the night says hello to the dawn. I'm alone with my dreams on the hillside. I can still hear your voice, though you're gone. I hear from my Love song to the wind. It brings back sweet memories of you. Quand le soleil dit bonjour au je suis seul. Je ne veux penser qu'à toi. Je suis seul. Je ne veux Shota Osabi on the piano, getting okay. us through that wonderful Thank song. Thank you, Shota and Bert. That was fun. I, I was hoping I wouldn't sneeze in the middle of one of the uh, choruses of that, but here we go, everybody. Back to reality. So, Bert, there's co you're coming out now with a DVD. By the way, that song is on our CD, right? Yes. And uh, you happen to have a, a, well, let's show everybody the cover. Okay. Well, there it is. <laughs> this is the cover of our CD called International Affair, which we did some time ago. And just so you know, you can call me and purchase it. <laughs> I guess. Still around. Still mm -hmm. around. So I'll put this down. We don't have an excerpt from it. We just did a live excerpt. Uh, and I then message Kathy about uh, 15 songs international on that one, you know? There's 15 international songs on our CD. Like it's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's amazing. We did that. Yeah. I know. It's amazing. And then uh, another CD that you are working on, apparently, of you uh, have. That one is already out. We did the Country West of Melbourne. You remember you yes. did uh, two yes. numbers that, on that So one. I'm on this one. This is called Classic Country. Uh, classic right. Cowboy. Cas the, classic I, Cowboy. Or my boots and on that one, yeah. 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 <laughs> and Bert is there. No Where horse. is that photo from? I love it. Uh, in New Mexico, Badlands. Oh. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. Just great. Mm -hmm. So everybody out there in TV land, we've done a little kind of overview of both Shota and Thank your you. fabulous Happy Coat Thank album. You. But you. you've recorded more than one album. Yes, I have a two other. 
So if they just Google your name and CD Baby or any or mm, Amazon, not, not yet. Amazon. I'm going to. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, you better hurry and yes, do that. I will, I will. Gosh, but that's great. They can purchase the other one. Okay, on CD Baby or Amazon.com. And Bert, we can't just Google your name. Not yet, because I want uh, that uh, DVD to come out too, along with that re recording uh, CD. Well, you know what? The other thing, if the other piece of all this is, everyone needs a website. That's the whole. Yes, this is the, the way the business the works. I, well, Kathy I, Holly Productions, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know yeah. Kathy Holly, but <laughs> it's been great having both of you on tonight. You. This is so great, and coming down in this, it was raining everybody tonight, right yeah, on the right. highway. And I know it's been kind of crazy, the weather, but it was great fun having showed on because yeah. we're going to be working. I have an open mic, which it, we don't have to flash on the screen because I don't put it on. It, the day changes all the time. But at Utopia Cafe in San Francisco next week, Jan, uh, February 24th, oh. and Shoda always plays for the open yes. mic and we get all wonderful singers, including you. I sing, everybody sings. It's really a lot of fun. A Chinese restaurant in Chinatown in San Francisco. And then the Villa Dest is somewhere where I work regularly, uh, the first Monday of every month. And showed up. And I'm just thinking, are you doing anything that's coming up that we should know about? Uh, An event. I can't think of. With any of our singers we mentioned? No. No? no. Okay. Well, because I'm thinking there are so many people in the Bay Area that are wonderful performers. And, and we always we think of Shota. Shoda, oh, what about Valeriana? Uh, Are you working at the restaurant? She does, but I cannot. Not every, make, every not, date. Yes. Okay, that's another friend of ours who has worked with. And the Lost Weekend may come back yes. if they find them. March 20th, I really? think. Really, where? Uh, Fred <laughs> Salvage? I forgot. Hmm. Fred uh, Salvage? Salvage? Berkeley? No, oh, oh. not uh, Berkeley. Uh, some theater. Well, if we look up Lost yes, Weekend please. and Google yes, yes, it, yes, yes. it might, oh, okay. Yeah. Because that would be great, everybody out there. Lost Weekend is a great group. Country. 12-piece. 12 12-piece 12 country. Country swing band. Swing mm -hmm. band, and it is. It's great. Well, we so we'll look forward Greek, to that. A little Greek night. Oh, yeah, our Greek night. I forgot. So you're, they're going to flash Villa Deste on their <coughs> first Monday of every month, but there's also Greek night on uh, March 24th at the Villa Deste right. on a Thursday night. Greek night for With the first time. Greek Live group, Greek band. That's going to be fun. Dancer, yeah. And we're going to sing and do all this. Yes, belly dancer from here, yeah, Asia. Uh, She's uh, from Pacifica. Oh, She's oh, great. She okay. teaches here. Great, so yeah. everybody, you have a lot to look forward to in an entertainment. If you would just take the time, if you want to email me, we always put that, I think, on the screen. Google my name and you'll find my email address if you want updates. Because in showbiz, excuse me, some things you can't, you know, lay out perfectly. But some things you can. We don't know the date about everything we're going to do, right? <laughs> Sometimes know. we get a day call, day. <laughs> and they say, right. drop everything. We right. want you for next yes. blah, blah, blah night. Yes. That's what it is like right now anyway. There used to be a time when we could work five, six nights a week mm -hmm. and uh, be guaranteed of where we were. So to be a guest on Spotlight, don't forget, call me mm -hmm. or visit my website. Email me. Bye, everybody. Bye. Wave. Mm -hmm. Mambo Italiano, hey Mambo, Mambo Italiano, go, 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 you mixed up Siciliano, hold your genovese to the Mambo like a crazy with a head.